Welcome to Lady Day. Today our topic is about why negative actions travel so much further and faster than any positive action ever does. I've always wondered why lies and gossip travel so quickly and rapidly. And after all these years of pondering, I believe I have a solution. It's because America was built on lies and deceit. When Amerigo and Columbus touched down on the Westlands, they were conducting scouting reports. And a part of these scouting reports were the natives. So once they completed their scouting reports and submitted it back to their headquarters in the East, the East now knew exactly how they were going to take over the West. Learn every single trait from the natives. Learn how to eat, survive, housing, weather, the whole nine yards, everything. So once they got their plan together, they were ready to send the Mayflower to the West. And the Mayflower was not just a bunch of rebels that got up one night and stole a huge ass Titanic type boat and were like, hey, we're leaving, screw you guys. No, that's not, that's not who they were. These guys were a secret army. They came here on a mission to take over the West. And once they got here and implemented their plans, which is earning the trust of the natives and learning all their traits, they literally killed every single native. Every single one. Nearly made them extinct. And another crazy fact is that these guys, the East, actually sent over a slave ship a year before the Mayflower even arrived to the West. So are you really going to convince me that this is not a pa part of someone's master plan? Hell to the no, to the no, 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 hell no, no, to the no, no, hell to the no, no, to the no, 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 to the no, no, to the no, no, no. So just looking back at our history, which is full of lies, gossip, deceit, and many more negative actions, it makes sense why we, the kids of America, today and yesterday, are the way we are. We are being taught from kindergarten to 12th grade to lie and be deceitful. And if this is all we are being taught, this is all we are going to be doing to each other. It just makes sense. And it is also weird that every time something positive and legit hits us, we always start panicking, get paranoid and start second guessing it. Is it really, it's just weird, it's just, that's how it works. So let's just work backwards, you know, it works for me. So let's just all try it and see what happens. So I'm Mo Rich, I'm the host, and if you guys want to be guests on the show, just contact the social networks or email the Gmail, and we'll be right back with our first guest. So let's get this started. Alright guys, welcome back. Today we have a very diverse entrepreneur, Mr. Jared Hart. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank, you, for having me. thank, you, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. So let everybody know who you are and what you do. Alright, my name is Jared Hart. I'm part owner of Positive Works Event Services. Um, we aim to have a positive impact on our clients' lives by providing an exceptional um, service before, during, and after our client's event. Nice. That's awesome. So, now question number one is, what is real to you? Uh, what's real to me, uh, truly and honestly, is God. Um, he's been with me every step of the way. Um, it's, it's been a struggle. Um, sometimes I sit down and think, you know, how far I've come and, and where I've made it to. And, and it's truly a blessing. Nice. Definitely. Cool. So now number two, what are some of your toughest challenges and how do they strive you to push for success? Uh, my toughest challenges. Um, well, growing up, we really didn't have too much. Um, and, you know, once again, God's been with me every step of the way. And, you know, it was a struggle of trying to figure out, you know, who I was and what I wanted to do. And um, once I figured that out, it was, you know, um, of smooth selling, basically, like, you know, um, everything came um, to par. Nice. nice. It's just, you know, how they say, if you build it, they come. 
Right, right. Man, nice. So, so now can you let everybody know your social media so the, how they can get in contact with you and get your services? All right. Um, I can be uh, reached at Positive Works Event Services on Facebook and Instagram. And then on Twitter, uh, you can reach us at Positive Works ES. Nice. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate Thank it. Thanks for having me. No problem, man. Thank you so much. All right, guys. We'll be right back after these messages. My bag. Oh. All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the mystery box. Today we have Miss Labrada and Mirabel. Go. Hey, peoples out there. We just want to give a shout out to our mariachi girasol. We love you, girls. Keep up the good work. Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Yeah. Nothing. Nope. All right, guys. Welcome back to the mystery box. Today we have Miss Destiny and Mr. Brian. Go. <laughs> All right, my advice to you is to follow your heart. Um, don't give a about what people tell you to do. You know, if you have dreams, go after them. Can't live for anybody else. If your parents want you to go to school and you ain't really feeling it and you got something else you want to do, just go for it. Like, forget everything. You live your life for yourself and just follow your passion. That's what's most important in life. My name is Brian B. Few. Um, my advice is to spread good vibes and whatever you do, you put out good karma, it comes back to you. That's pretty much it. Good vibes only. Three of me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Welcome back, everybody. Today, our MCM is Mr. Carlos Slim, the chairman and CEO of Telcel, which is the AT&T equivalent in Mexico. He was also the richest man in the world for four years from the time span of 2007 to 2013 which is pretty amazing. And at the age of 11, he bought his first government savings bond. And then at the age of 12, he bought his first share. And then by the age of 15, he was a shareholder in Mexico's largest bank, which is incredible. So if we have that young ambition in us, keep feeding it because we never know where it can take us. And once it gets rolling, we never know. So just keep going and keep feeding that young ambition. So I'd like to give a shout out to all of our guests and participants. We really appreciate it. Everybody have a great Tuesday. See you guys on Wednesday. And one last thing. I don't want the itches. I want the riches.